Hey everybody! Hi my YouTube subscribers and Sunday evening. Oh my gosh, I've had a day. I've had a long day. Um, I finally got my nails done yesterday and they're so much shorter and I love it because I can play my guitar and I can update the finances because I was really behind because my nails got so long I couldn't use my 10 key on my computer. So um, I wanted to come to you and talk to you about the law of forgiveness because I didn't want to get stuck watching something like yeah, I just wanted to get this done because I did the law of non-resistance yesterday and This is the law of forgiveness and there after this. There's only two more laws uh, From this book that I want to help you guys with so the law of forgiveness I can probably not even have to read I don't have a lot of highlights in this chapter. Why because um, You know, I learned to forgive um, through the circumstances I went through with my business. Um, I was told by God to forgive and not uh, seek legal ramifications. Um, so basically what forgiveness does though is people don't like to hear that, right? Because forgiveness is extremely difficult. So, but even though it's difficult, it's something that God wants us to do and it's a spiritual law whether or not you know God or believe in God or have a relationship with God. That doesn't matter because these laws are operating whether you know it or not. They're just like gravity. They're existing. So I'm making people aware of the laws so they can feel more successful and feel lighter. Because forgiveness is the gift you give yourself. I realized, and it was hard, like I got to tell you, because I was, I mean... I can't even explain to you how much heart and soul I put into building that business that they flipping ended up destroying. So um, forgiveness releases you from the burden, right? Because if you harbor resentment or bitterness, what it does is it's like you drinking a cup of poison and expecting the other per person to be harmed. So you, even to be healthy in your body, you have to forgive. And so what are the steps I recommend? I didn't do a board on this one. Um, I would ask for help from whatever you believe in to help you forgive if you're struggling with forgiving somebody. I've forgiven everybody in my past. Everybody. Like from things that were done to me when I was a kid. I mean, I learned this from one of my mentors back in 2011 and 12, one of my coaches. And so I went through that process then, but when it came to the people that helped, just helped destroy my business and my reputation and my company, I, I, I struggled with that. So that's why I could teach this. So basically, because I'm a strong, because I'm bold about my faith, right? I'm Christian, but you don't have to be Christian to listen to me because I, will, I, I relate to all people, or at least I hope to. Um, but the biggest step is you ask for help. Or you do it yourself. There's three steps. You forgive, you release the person, and then you bless them, which was the hardest part for me. But I just follow the steps. There's only three steps. You forgive, you release, and you bless. And now, if even if it's hard, you just do it. Just do it. Go through the motions. Um, ask the universe to reveal to you who you need to forgive first of all and if somebody comes to your mind either a name or a picture do the work um, everything in life I think is work other than our salvation so you gotta do the work and you gotta work on forgiveness it's not fun it's not easy but you know I I had to go through it I don't know how long it took I mean now I'm at the point where I did have a dream dreams speak to you sometimes but you can't Go, I don't go crazy with dreams, but sometimes if I have a dream, uh, either God gives me a goal or a vision. But this dream was I was at a I was at some kind of an event. And she tried to sit near me, and I walked away. And I remember I was still very angry, so I knew there was more work to do. So it's a process. I don't expect you to watch this video and be able to forgive everybody who's ever done done you harm. That's not that's not even reality. Um, it's it's a practice. Um, now I walk in forgiveness. I don't even take offense anymore. Like for things people say, you know how people's comments sometimes affect you. They have a long lasting impact. That's offense. Like if somebody says something, they don't even know that you took it the wrong way or you took it in a in a offensive way or whatever. So that's 
even offense is the same thing. It's, it's just a lighter version of forgiveness. So I walk in forgiveness. I don't take offense. And immediately, if somebody says something, I forgive them. I don't always bring it up to them. I just give it up. I forgive, I release, and I bless. I'm just in the habit of doing that. It's like the habit of happiness, right? I just am always seeking for happiness. Even when I, I have a long day, I've had a long day today. So I did self-care. I showered, I washed my hair, finally washed my hair because I, with my nails, I literally couldn't even get through my hair because I, I was, I just couldn't. It was like getting my nails and my toes was such a victory yesterday and it took a long time that that bled over into today. So today I scheduled all my work today and uh, I even had a business call on my way home between the nail salon and here. So I've had a very busy weekend, which isn't normal for me, which is why I may be a little low, lower energy because I don't usually work that much on the weekends, but I felt like I had to get through the finances because uh, I'm way behind, like way behind. But you know, I just do the work, right? You just have to, sometimes you just have to do it. You have to make yourself do it and do the best you can with it. I listen to music. I listen to interviews that I like. Uh, with different people that I like and I just did my best and when I showered I listened to uh, updates of things I'm researching I also listened to some other stuff and so I'm constantly feeding my mind when I'm doing tasks that aren't like hard to do like finances for me is not hard it's just a task I need to do so I didn't watch movies today while I was updating the finances. I listen to songs and I listen to interviews with artists that I like and I follow when I want to get to know better. So that's what I did today. Um, so that's all I have for you today on forgiveness because it's not easy. But if you do it, you'll be happier. It's all about you. Uh, I wouldn't be sharing these spiritual laws to success if I didn't think it would help your happiness. Holding on to resentment towards people just hurts you. And I know that's hard to hear. But you have to forgive, release, and bless. Now, that does not mean you have to stay in relationship with those people. I block them. They're not on. They're not Facebook friends. I don't think I can block them on YouTube, but I certainly, you know, whatever. I don't say their names, so I'm not slandering them. Um, but I just, I know that God sees that justice is done. I just looked up on my board. It's Proverbs two eight. Um, God sees that justice is done no matter what. That's my belief. Just like all things work together for my good. So forgive. It'll help you. It'll help clear a lot of stuff away. I've had people say that they, once they did this step, prosperity flowed. So if you feel like you're blocked in your business or with anything going on, which it's hard not to feel blocked right now, forgive release and bless. Those are the three steps. Forgive, release, and bless. I hope this helps. Uh, I hope to hear from you, but if I don't get a lot of comments on this one, I won't be surprised. Uh, so I'll cover the next chapter tomorrow, I hope. Um, I'm going to read that probably before I go to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> Even though it's early, I think I'm going to head to bed early uh, because I've just had a long day. But we all have days like that, right? We have days, some days are really great and fun, and other days you just have to get work done. And today was one of those days. So I hope this helps you. It encourages me that I can help you to end my day that makes me happy. And now I might watch a movie. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to relax because I need to. I didn't even put my braids in yet. I might just wait till tomorrow to put those in. Um, so guys, I hope you're enjoying your day. It was a beautiful day here today. It sucked. I had to work in the office because it was a beautiful day. I did take breaks and sit outside and did some things from what I could do outside. Uh, I love to be outside in this weather, but today, you know, I had to be content with the windows open. So I hope this helps. Uh, like I said, it's not an easy lesson. So I figured I'd just do it today because kind of like just doing the finances, something you just need to do. It'll help you. It'll help relieve your burdens so that more prosperity can flow. Because think about it. If you're not holding resentments, that mind space is clear. Think about it that way. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.